machines learning at an unprecedented pace, robots with social skills, codes that evolve, the world we once knew is swiftly transforming. The lines between fantasy and reality are blurring as we step into an era where technology reigns supreme. The real world, it seems, is merging with our real world. From the very beginning, mankind has had an intriguing relationship with machines. The ancient myths are full of tales of automatons, golems or primitive machines used to mimic human actions. These were a testament to the human longing for immortality and an effort to bring our fantasies to life, were often used in temple rituals and were even believed to possess magical powers by some. This fascination has not waned over the centuries but has only grown stronger and more complex. As we moved into the industrial revolution, machines began to take over manual labor jobs. This was a time where the relationship between man and machine underwent a dramatic shift. Machines were no longer seen as magical beings, but as tools to increase productivity and efficiency. The advent of factory lines and machine tools revolutionized industries, leading to an era of mass production. With the dawn of the 21st century, machines have taken a completely new form, artificial intelligence. The technologically advanced AIs of today are worlds apart from the simple automatons of the past. They can learn, adapt and evolve, making them more powerful and versatile. Today, robots are developing social skills. They can interact with humans, understand emotions and even respond accordingly. Sophisticated codes are being written that can evolve and adapt as per the needs of the situation. It's not just about performing tasks anymore, it's about evolving and this rapidly changing world. Machines are viewed differently by different people. Many see them as tools, extensions of our own abilities. They see potential in their ability to learn and adapt, the possibility of them taking over mundane tasks, freeing up human minds for more creative pursuits. But there is another side to this coin. Some view these evolving machines as threats. In recent times, Tech moguls like Elon Musk have been voicing their concerns. These individuals are not just championing advancements in technology, but they are also warning against its potential dangers. They fear that unchecked technological growth could lead to scenarios where machines surpass human intelligence, opening a Pandora's box of potential hazards. But why the fear? Is it just pop culture influencing these tech giants? Or is there more beneath the surface? Is it the dystopian futures shown in movies and TV shows that's causing this unease? Or is it a more profound concern about machines replacing human jobs, creating an imbalance in society? Could it be the fear of a world where machines hold more than humans, questioning the very essence of humanity? No matter the case, it is clear that the future of humanity is closely intertwined with the future of machines. As we continue to advance at this breakneck speed, it is important to reflect on our relationship with machines and how it is evolving. It is essential to strike a balance between technological advancement and human values to ensure that we do not end up being ruled by our own creations. After all, it is not just about building intelligent machines, but also about building a future where humans and machines coexist harmoniously. Yet, amidst these apprehensions, there's another perspective, one of symbiosis and mutual growth. It's a vision of a world where humans and robots coexist, not as competitors, but as partners. It is not about a world overrun by machines, but rather a world enhanced by them. We're not building robots to replace us, we're evolving with them. It's a constant process, one that is aimed at equipping us with the tools to navigate this era of rapid technological advancement. Let's get one thing straight. These robots, these artificial intelligences, they're not out to supplant us. They are here to complement us. They are becoming more intelligent, yes, but it's our values, ethics and teachings they're imbibing. We are the ones who set the rules, who define the parameters within which they operate. They learn from us, they adapt to us, not the other way around. It's a dynamic, symbiotic relationship one that has the potential to reshape our societies in ways we can only begin to imagine. This is not development happening in a secluded corner of the world. It's not just the Silicon Valley. This is a global phenomenon. Governments across the world, including that of China, are pushing stringent legislation to ensure ethical AI development. They recognize the potential, the opportunities and the challenges that this new era brings. 
they are taking proactive measures to ensure that this transition happens smoothly, ethically, responsibly. But laws are just one aspect, one cog in the machinery. There's a broader societal transformation happening. Our world is changing, it's evolving, it's adapting. And it's not just about the hardware or the software. It's about our cultures, our traditions, our values. It's about how we live, how we work, how we interact with each other. It's about changing our perceptions, our attitudes. It's about embracing change, about stepping into the unknown, about welcoming the future with open arms and open minds. Yet, the fear remains. It's palpable. It's a fear of the unknown, a fear of change, a fear of what might be. It's a fear that is deeply ingrained in our collective psyche, a fear that has been passed down through generations. It's a fear that is often misguided, often misplaced. Yes, there are concerns, and they are valid to an extent. But should they paralyze us? Should they deter us from progressing, from moving forward? These concerns, they need to be addressed. They need to be discussed, debated, dissected. They need to be put on the table, not swept under the rug. But they should not become obstacles. They should not become hindrances. They should not become an excuse for inaction, for complacency, for stagnation. We need to confront these fears, to overcome them, to rise above them. And the first step towards that is understanding, is education, is awareness. Are these concerns valid? Let's delve deeper. Let's peel back the layers. Let's unravel the complexities. Let's look beyond the surface. Let's explore the facts, the figures, the data. Let's question, let's challenge, let's probe. Let's embark on this journey together, a journey of discovery, a journey of enlightenment. Let's arm ourselves with knowledge, with insight, with understanding. Let's chart a path forward, a path of progress, a path of prosperity. Yet the fear remains. Are these concerns valid? Let's delve deeper. The conversation between man and machine is just beginning. This epoch we find ourselves in is not just a mere chapter in human history. It's a new dawn teetering between the wonders of innovation and the fear of the unknown. The stakes undeniably are high and the decisions we make pivotal. We are at a crossroads, a significant juncture in the journey of mankind. Two diverging paths lay before us, one that leads to growth and the other to each path, painted with the brushes of decisions we must make, represents a possible future. A future that holds the potential for either harmony or chaos. This is not just about technology or innovation. It's about the very essence of human existence. It's about the way we choose to live our lives. The growth path is not just about technological advancements or economic prosperity. It represents the vision of a world where man and machine coexist in harmony, complementing each other, leveraging each other's strengths and compensating for each weaknesses. The discord, on the other hand, symbolizes a world where man and machine are pitted against each other, where the human spirit is crushed under the weight of mechanical dominance, where individuality and creativity are lost in the monotonous rhythm of automated routines. Our future isn't about choosing between man or machine. It's not an either-or scenario we find ourselves in. It's about understanding the progress of one does not necessitate the downfall of the other. It's about realizing that the man and machine are not opponents on a battlefield, but allies in a mission. It's about crafting a symbiotic space, a space where boundaries blur, where the lines between artificial and natural intelligence are indistinct. It's about nurturing creativity, encouraging innovation, and fostering shared values, whether it's in the silicon brain of a robot or the neural pathways of a human. So what does the future hold? It's a question that lingers in the air, a question that echoes in every corridor of human thought. Will the future be a utopia where man and machine coexist, or a dystopia where one dominates the other? Will we live in a world where the hum of machines mingles harmoniously with the rhythm of human life? Or will we be mere spectators in a world run by machines? The possibilities and the power to shape the future is in fact in our hands. Will robots rule? Or are they just tools that we utilize to better our lives? You decide. The future is not set in stone. It is a canvas waiting for us to paint our vision. The conversation between man and machine is just beginning. And where it leads, well, that's up to us. Will robots rule or are they just tools? You decide.
If you appreciated this video, please like, share, comment and of course, subscribe.